here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Live Doppler radar indicating we've got some sprinkles or light showers working through northern Rhode Island right now. Let's get right to it. You can see the green uh, north and west of Providence zooming into it. Maybe North Providence, Pawtucket, perhaps Central Falls seeing a little shower activity. A few raindrops, especially in northwestern corner of the state through Route 44 and up into Boroughville now heading on off to the east and northeast. Big picture, you see a big chunk of rain off to our west. It's all going to try and work its way through southeastern New England over the next 12 hours or so. Threat tracker for today, despite the rain, low chance of severe weather, certainly it could uh, cause some delays as far as baseball games and practices, that kind of a thing. But uh, we're not looking at any severe weather. Same for Wednesday and same for Thursday. Lots of clouds outside of Narragansett right now. We have had had some sunshine earlier in the morning it's since faded away, although it might be a few sunny breaks here and there, maybe in Providence right now. Temperature of 68 degrees, wind from the southeast at 5 miles an hour, or up to 72 in Smithfield. That's one of the warmer spots across the area at the moment. Here's what's going on. We have an area of high pressure now drifting away from us, and we have a frontal system working its way in. This stationary front kind of lifting north and east from the form of a warm front. What it will do is Cause all the clouds and showers to overspread the area. Let's track it with our hour by hour forecast. Here we are, three o'clock. Notice how initial batch of showers begins to work its way away from us, but we will be seeing this batch of showers across Connecticut overspread the area late in the afternoon and during the evening. Best chance of showers probably north and west of Providence this afternoon, but I think everywhere we'll be seeing some rain showers this evening and mostly done by midnight, although it wouldn't surprise me very late in the night. There's a quick shower or two around uh, say three, four o'clock in the morning. Wednesday at eight o'clock, lots of clouds, little touch of fog and then poof, we're looking at lots of sunshine for the afternoon tomorrow and temperatures will respond. We'll be getting close to 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon with lots of sun. So your forecast for this afternoon topping out around 70. But once those showers work in, we'll see the temperatures fall back through the 60s. So it will be getting cooler this afternoon and into the evening for tonight. Some showers, especially in the evening hours ending might be a brief shower after midnight. We'll see a little touch of fog overnight. Low temperatures about 52. Here's the seven day forecast. Now tomorrow, as I mentioned, and getting into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees with increasing amounts of sunshine looking pretty good for tomorrow. Thursday about 75 degrees with sunshine looking great. Maybe a beach day for Friday, 83 degrees with sunshine. Memorial Day weekend ahead looks dry on Saturday. Could be a couple of showers around on Sunday. Memorial Day Monday for any observances out there. I think it'll be dry with a blend of clouds and sunshine and temperatures up around 70 degrees. Stay tuned because sometimes those Memorial Day forecasts can be challenging and they could change a little bit. Tony will have the latest updates for you in your full future cast tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. Two out of three for the long weekend would still be all right. Yeah, not so bad at all. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Now in stories coming up new tonight starting live at 5. 100 lucky people got the rare opportunity to view an unseen part of Boston history. What new discovery they made in an abandoned subway tunnel. The new at 530, a concerning trend in Providence Diocese with no men entering the seminary this fall. What's being done to keep local churches staffed? And new at six, Pawtucket's mayor and several others now pressing Care New England for quick action on an offer to buy Memorial Hospital. Those stories, plus all the day's breaking.